morning students in the last class we have completed question number 9 and 10 and we wished there especially x cube plus y cube x plus y x square minus x y plus y square and another identity is x cube minus y cube x minus y x square plus x y plus y square so today now i am going to start from question number 11 here you can see the question factorize 27 x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9 x y z okay you have to factorize this one we have 27 x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9 x y z 27 x cube we can write what 3 x whole cube because if you multiply 3 x 3 times you will get 27 then y cube z cube then this 9 x y z we can write like this way see 3 this one you write 3 8 as x this whole 3 x 3 as x y z means 3 x y z it is balanced or not 3 3 is a 9 x y it is balanced that means we got like this way if we, we treat this 3x overall x then x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz we had a identity that uh, x cube plus y cube plus z cube this is the identity already i have given in the list of identities oh. x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz you can write x plus y plus z x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx this is the formula okay now we need to use this formula to solve this one to factorize this one see this whole is x so x cube plus y cube minus z cube minus 3x y z x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3x y z you can write x plus y plus z so x is means or 3x so 3x plus y plus z x is square so 3x whole is square y is square z is square now x y x is what 3x so 3x into y y z y z is same then z x z x is 3x now simplify 3x plus y plus z 3x square means 9x square y square z square 3xy then yz and z into 3x 3xz okay this is the final result now question number 12 if x plus y plus z is equal to 0 so that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to what 3xyz so you need to prove this relation if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then you have to put x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. Okay. We know that. What do we know? That uh, we know that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. Just now, we have used this one. This identity already we have used here. So, this identity I write again. See, we know that x cube plus y cube minus x plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to what? x plus y plus z x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x in this question they have given that x plus y plus z is equal to 0 see according to the question x plus y plus z is equal to 0 so replace x plus y plus z is equal to what by 0 replace it so in this formula x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z in the place of x plus y plus z I wrote what 0 so 0 into this one okay this x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus xy minus yz minus zx now if you if this whole multiply with 0 then you will get what 0 okay now see x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to right hand side what only 0 if you turn times power minus 3xyz on the right hand side it will be plus so x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz see if x plus y plus z is equal to 0 then so that this one already we have proved understood next Question number 14. Without actually calculating the cubes, find the volume of each of the flowing. So we find the value of each of the flowing. Here minus 12 cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube. We can do like that. Minus 12 3 times multiply, then 7 3 times, then 5 3 times after the u8. No. You cannot do like that. Why? Why you cannot do like that? Because they have given without actually calculating the cubes. Means we need to use suitable identity. Which one we will use then? Just now what we have done, x, if x plus y plus z equal to 0, then what we can write? x cube plus y cube plus z cube equal to 3xy. That one you will use. See, here, suppose this one is x and this one is y and this one is z. First of all, we have to check the sum of this x, y and z is 0 or not. If 0, then only you can use because what we have proved 
just now that if x plus y plus z is equal to 0 don't, then only you can write x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz so we need to check this one so x plus y plus z minus 12 plus 7 plus 5 yes 7 plus 5 is also 12 12 12 cancel what 0 that means you are getting 0 so you can use this so what you can write x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to what 3xyz 3x is what minus 12 z is what y is what 7 and z is 5 if you multiply then you will get minus 1 to 6 you see how it is easy it's very very easy or not okay question number 15 give possible expression for the length and breadth of each of the flowing rectangles in which their areas are given see this is the area of rectangle this equation is the area of a rectangle you can say this is a quadratic polynomial this is the area of rectangle and uh, you need to find out the length and breadth so do you remember that what is the area of a rectangle length into breadth that means if you factorize this one they have not given in the question that they have to factorize but you have to take this idea that area is length into breadth that means if you factorize this one if you can show product of something then you can say this is length this is breadth so try to factorize it so we have area is equal to this one this one quadratic polynomial and 25a square minus 35a plus 12 how to factor this quadratic polynomial splitting the middle term now see how to split first of all this constant term 12 and the coefficient of a a square what 25 this one this two you have to multiply 25 into 12 how much 300 now this is the middle term 35 now you have to think what two numbers that will give you 300 and if you add or subtract and that will give you how much 35 and how to find out from this 300 by using prime factorization already i have shown in our previous classes i have already explained about this so i'm not going to show you it i'm not going to show it again because you know this one so i got after factorization 10 i got what 15 and 20 if you add 15 plus means 15 and 20 then you will get how much 35 and if you multiply 15 uh, sorry 15 into 20 then you have then you will get how much 300 so you can take 15 plus 20 in the place of 35 now take out the bracket minus 15 a minus 20 a then plus 12 if you take common 5a then what is left 5a minus 3 then we have minus 4 5a minus 3 now you can see this is blends or not minus 4 into 5 20 a minus 4 into minus 3 minus minus plus 4 3 is a all things are balanced now overall common 5 minus 3 and 5 minus 4 so this area is what length into breadth and this is length and this is breadth you can assume that easily you can write the, you can write down is or no so length is 5 minus 3 and breadth is 5 minus 4 like this you can find out understood so uh, see your homeworks question number 12 question number 14 2 question number 15 2 question number 16 one and two okay i want to say especially for question number 16 see in question number 16 maybe you can see find the volume that means you know that volume of cube or cube i forgot actually maybe it is cuboid okay then if you're going to find out volume of cuboid you got in your previous class class eight especially that uh in chapter what surface area and volume that is mensuration yes or no there you go and that uh, volume of a keyboard is length breadth and height so like that like this here what length into breadth on in the case of rectangle so in the case of volume of a keyboard length breadth and height then you have to factorize you will get three vector the one is length another is breadth and another is height for question number 16 so try to solve this question and submit in the evening okay so to, uh, today i have completed this uh, exercise Sorry, this chapter, this exercise also now uh, already completed this chapter also. So, in case any doubt, any confusion, please get back to me in the evening. And especially, I want to say that in this chapter, you have to remember all the formula or identities. This is very, very important. Without identities, you cannot solve this exercise. Okay. Uh, in the next class, uh, I am going to. take a class test or I, I am going to start revision so I am going to start uh, revision for that I am going to take a class test of chapter receptor 
ओके आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इजी चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर थ्री ओके सो प्रैक्टिस चैप्टर थ्री फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्लास इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू टेक क्लास टेस्ट ओके थैंक यू सो मच हैव ए नाइस डे